Welcome back YouTube to Rick's YouTube channel. Today's video, we're going to be doing a video about linking your account to your new Xbox Series X on Xbox Series S. Now, they haven't been released yet. We've got pre-orders going out on September the 22nd and eventually the Xbox Series X will be released on November the 10th. Now, Epic have said the day of release of the Xbox Series X, Fortnite will be available to download. So I thought I'd show you how you're going to be linking your old account to your new Xbox Series X or Xbox Series S console. Now it is really going to be straightforward. I'm not 100% definite it's going to work like this, but this is the way it would go if you just bought a new Xbox. You'll get to this screen here having downloaded Fortnite on your new Xbox it's going to start automatically logging in because it's a new Xbox. It's not going to have any details whatsoever. So make sure you do before you do all this sign in with your Microsoft account. So if you've just upgraded from the Xbox one, sign in with all the details that you use to sign in with your Xbox one, the one where your main Fortnite account is. Once you've done that, go over to the Microsoft store, download Fortnite for your brand new Xbox series S or X. Once it's downloaded, launch the game. You'll probably get this screen here where it says link an account. And all you're going to do is link your Epic Games account to your new console. So you're going to have to press link an account. If you press skip this, it's going to create a ghost account on your brand new system. And then you'll have to go through a whole host of things to unlink that account. So just remember, press link an account. Once you've pressed link an account, it's going to pop up this unique code. And you'll have to use the uh, Microsoft Xbox browser or go over to a PC to go over to the www.epicgames forward slash activate to activate your brand new Xbox Series X or S to link your Epic Games account. I'm just going to open up another browser. Activate. And it comes up the top search result there, link an Epic Games account, press that. And then just make sure you're signing in. So if you're not signing into your Epic Games account, if you're on your Microsoft, if you're only using a console, open up another browser and sign into your Epic Games account so it remembers you. If you're on a PC, do the same. Go to your Epic Games account. I'm on my Epic Games account. You can see my Xbox is disconnected. It's not connected to this Epic Games account. So you're going to put the code which is on your screen, put it into the box here. If you don't see your name actually underneath where you're typing in the uh, the characters, you're gonna have to make sure you're signed into your right account. So if you've got another account details there and you've got two Xbox accounts, just remember which one is your main account, which one you would like to get onto your brand new console. Once you've completed that, press continue. It says your device has been activated on your account and is ready. The screen will refresh shortly. So we'll just switch off this, the PC we're going to wait for it to activate on your brand new console. You can see it says logging in there. No one knows if this is the definite way it's going to work, but having a brand new console, there is no details on there. So as soon as you've logged in your Microsoft details, your actual account is going to ask you to download the new Fortnite. Because obviously it's not going to be the same as the Xbox One. It's an enhanced version. So you'll have to download that. And like I said, if it asks you to log in, just remember to link the correct account. So obviously sign into Epic Games and then go to the activation page, put the code in and you should be back on your account. So we're just gonna press A, we're gonna jump into the lobby. We're back on my main account and that's how it should be working when you get your new console in November. I do make Fortnite tutorials, so please leave a like, subscribe, and I shall get back to you with another one. Thanks for watching.